Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our April Patch Tuesday B-Release updates rolling out for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the updates were pushed out late yesterday in my region once again on the 9th of April 2024. And for Windows 10 22H2, the update this month is KB5036892. And this rolled out, as mentioned, on the 9th of April. Now, the Patch Tuesday updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of every month are compulsory mandatory updates that will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device unless you decide to pause the update for a couple of days. And once again, the update addresses security issues in Windows 10. And for this month, we get 68 vulnerabilities that have been fixed. And although there are 68 vulnerabilities, for the first time in quite a long time, there are no critical, which is good news. So there are no critical vulnerabilities that have been fixed, but we do get 68 important vulnerabilities and security flaws that have been fixed. So 68 vulnerabilities in total, zero critical, which as mentioned is good news, 68 important. Now over and above that, the update includes quality improvements that were part of this update. KB5035941, which rolled out as the optional C release update at the end of March. So if you didn't install this update, all the fixes and improvements now will be carried over into this update for Patch Tuesday for April 2024. Now, I have posted a whole video on uh, KB5035941, which will be in the end screen. But just a quick recap for the purpose of today's video. First of all, the update adds Windows Spotlight to your desktop background, which is on a controlled rollout. So I'm not seeing it as yet, but the easiest way to check for that, if you have it, would just be to go to your settings, head over to your personalization page, and on your personalization page background, we head to... It's on the background page. We head to background and you'll see Windows Spotlight in this drop down menu if it has rolled out to your system. And over and above that, it also adds more content to your lock screen, which is on a controlled rollout as well. And I have posted a video on this, which I'll leave in the end screen regarding Windows 10 and Windows 11, where we get the weather, markets, traffic, and, and so on, trending cards. And widgets that are rolling out to the lock screen so if you want more information go check that video out still on a controlled rollout but with this update as mentioned previously we should start seeing over the next couple of days and weeks these new widgets and cards rolling out to your lock screen it also affects windows hello for business it adds search highlights to the taskbar search box for the european economic area so if you are in the eea and you haven't seen these little search highlights this little animation uh, that's found to the right hand side of the search box those should be rolling out um, after you have installed this update um, you also might see a message that invites you to upgrade to windows 11 which is basically a full screen notification that if you do meet the system requirements um, some are calling this an ad we have spoken about this previously on the channel you should see that um, that invites you to upgrade to windows 11 after this update has been installed. It also supports daylight saving time changes in three regions. It fixes apps that stop responding. It addresses an issue that's, that stops some apps and features from being available. It also addresses an issue that affects the touch keyboard and so on. But go check that video out. That was just a quick recap. Uh, if you didn't install the optional C release update that rolled out near the end of March. And once this update has been applied and installed if we head over to um, our search and we enter winver this will give us the about windows menu and for windows 10 version 22h2 uh, the os build has now been bumped up to 19045.4291 after this update has been installed so that's more or less what's new guys with the april patch tuesday b release update for windows 10 kb5036892 so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one